So you say more than likely he ain't coming down on that uh, seller age, huh? <laughs> he don't like to negotiate. <laughs> he do on, on some of them might come down. What he, what he told me 490, man, I was like, ah, I can't do it. When you see me in a car like this, you know what time it is. So I went and played golf uh, last Saturday and stopped by this liquor store that is probably about 10 minutes away. And I walked in and they had something special behind the counter. So he's also got some pretty good bottles. Prices are a little steep. Let's go down there and see what we can get. No, I don't have to stop and get any gas this time. Filled up when I went and got the wife's coffee. So we're here at Hardesty Liquors. I'm gonna go inside, see if the guy's giving me the okay. Um, let me turn it around so you guys can see what the outside of the store looks like. It's only a few miles away from the Harry Nice Bridge. So if you see something you like, come up and give him a shot, man. So you got the seller aged up there. Last time he gave me a price on that seller aged, it was like $4.90. Um, you don't think he's willing to, go to negotiate, do you? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's tough for the prices. You got the Widow Jane. Got some High West. There's a Midnight Ranch Graham. I just don't want to pay 150, 160, man. You get an older Bookers. You got the 2023 03. You got a little book, Chapter 7. I do want this one right here. That's that pen hook, eight year. We'll have to get a price check on that one. There's a Nashville Barrel Company. It's actually a pretty good price at 90 bucks instead of 100 like I've seen it at some other places. Cash Strength. There's Mac 10, Knob Creek Rye. You got the 9 and the 12. I know a lot of people look for the 12, man, but it's it's all over Maryland. Lusty Claw. Dead guy whiskey. I don't know if I want to drink that. <laughs> There's all your Jeffersons. Make the sour mash. Can someone explain to me why Mictus is so readily available in Maryland and it is on the allocated list in Virginia? There's your Bardstown. Here was an older discovery. Let's see which one this is. That's a number eight. One of the best. That's, in my opinion, that's one of the best Bard Towns um, discoveries you can get. Now, when I was in here the other day, I was looking through. The Larceny, so he's got B523, then he's got C922 right behind it. Then he's got another B523. And then he's got the A123. Larcenies, depending on what store you go to, they'll be there just sitting on the shelf. Do not overlook that tumbling dice either. Let's see what this one's going for. 34. Five bucks for the hundred proof tumbling dice for a year. Didn't know this until someone pointed it out to me. The number on the dice is how you can tell how old the whiskey inside of the bottle is. There's your regular larceny, Catoctin Creek, the J Mag. I don't know, can you get that on camera? Yeah, 89. So that's actually a pretty good price for the Joseph Magnus, but I just can't bring myself to pay that for the cigar blend it's got to be really good for me to spend that amount of money on it so you got your four roses small batch select one of the best you got your rare breed coming in at 65 he does have heaven hill bottle to bond i'm running low i am going to have to pick that one up today there's your six year russell russell reserve laws i still haven't had it still need someone to tell me about it there's the Elijah Craig Toasted. Elijah Craig Bell Proof. B523. Another B523. Doesn't have a price on them, so they're probably going around 90 bucks. There's the Green River, the Wavens. Wilderness Trail. There's the Clyde May stuff. There's the Double Oak again. See, I just can't do it, man. I want to find a good one. Everybody says there's, you know, that there's some good ones out there. Here's the Mayor Penguin. 
got a pit hook, rabbit hole. There's a Baker's 46 and the cash strength. But you know what? Baker's, me and Baker's, we just have an iffy relationship, man. I get some bottles that are good, some bottles that are bad. I just don't want to spend 75 bucks every time. There's the Baby Says, Bradshaw, $17.92. It's steep on a regular small batch, $17.92 at $32.99. Uh, there's the High West Bourbon. There's New Riff, single barrel coming in at 113.4. I'm a huge fan of New Riff. 1897, 1870, there's the Stellum. Evan Williams Black Label. Back to the big boys down here on the bottom shelf. That's an old Knob Creek. Coming in at 62.99. Man, I love those old Knob Creeks. Turkey. There's, this is the first time I've ever seen a 175 of the Hero Edition. And that's really good. I just deleted the uh, review that I did of it by mistake. 10 High Old Crow. There's Rebel. There is that Ezra Brooks 90 Wild Turkey. I've never seen this Cooperstown right here. $51.99, 103 proof for 72 bucks. Then you got the 100 proof for 65 bucks. Let me know what y'all guys think about that one. Yeah, we got the Jack as always, one of the best in the game. Pretty consistent price on those. You got your Jack Daniels bonded. Slipping down into the bird dog. Major zero. I got you. There's all of your regular whiskeys. Then you come back around, you see you got Nelson Brothers. That did replace the Bell Mead. And I might catch some flack for it, but I'm just not a big fan of the Uncle Nears, man. What we got down here? Red Stack Jim Bean. You got your flavored bean. Southern Company Fireball. Adam from Major Zero said that this is the benchmark of scotch. It actually wasn't too bad. Seagram 7. Bottom shelf boys always got the OGD. I don't see the 114. There's the big bottle old Forest 86. Rebel. Canadian Club. Early times. I need to do a battle of the bottom shelf boys. So you say more than likely he ain't coming down on that uh, cellar age, huh? Uh, <laughs> he don't like to negotiate. He do. Somebody might come down. Come people came in here. What he what he told me four ninety man, I was like, ah, I can't do it. <laughs> so that was fifty fifty. Okay, so to get a Heaven Hill for fifty three bucks I think it was 58 after taxes is actually pretty good I've been running into this bottle lately down here for around 75 bucks um, I don't see them all over the place so I guess they're finally trickling in because I hadn't seen them in Maryland ever so you know the fact that I'm finally seeing them is a good thing but anyway I know the seller age was 490 but he's pretty much on par with all of the other stores down here so Yes, his pappy was expensive. Most of the Buffalo Trey stuff is going to be expensive because the area you're in. Um, so not, it not being state regulated, they can do basically whatever they want to do. Will it sell or will it be a shelf ornament? I guess that's up to the buyer. <laughs> so you can come up here to Hardesty's and get yourself a seller aged, but it's going to cost you a grip. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Let's head to the next door, see if we can find something else. I am back at Ladies Liquors. This is one of my favorite spots down here. Uh, this is where I got the best barrel pick I've ever had in my life. I know that they were supposed to get another one. Let's go inside and see if they got anything good. So of course, as soon as you come in, you're gonna see the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. 
I mean, 129.9, might as well say 130. Can't beat that. Then you got the Sinatra blend. You got the Boss Hog. The Commandments is going for $5.99. Whistle Pig is just getting ridiculous on their prices these days. There's a whole Whistle Pig lineup. Shout out to Doug from the ABC Drop video. Whistle Pig just released that 10 year 110 proof to the Virginia ABC that comes in that pig bottle. Uh, he reached out to me and let me know they had that thing. So check your Virginia ABC, see if they've got it. There's your Jack Bonded. There's the Jack Bonded Rye. Still haven't had it yet. There's Uncle Nearest again. Dickel 8 year. Just not a big fan of the Dickel 8 year, man. Not much has changed since the last video. This is the rye side, of course. We'll hit the bourbon side in a minute. There's the Heaven's Door 10 year straight rye. I'm a big fan of New Riff. Is this a single? Yeah, that's a single barrel coming in at 112.9. So I might as well say 113 for 70. Ladies always has uh, good products on the shelves. Masterson's Old Pepper. There's Pin Hook. This is new. Sagamore. Spirits Amaro Batch 1A Herbal or Herbal Liqueur. Not much has changed. Uh, there's your regular Knob Creeks, Russell's, Filibuster, Bottom Shelf Boys. Of course, you got the OGD, Evan Williams. There's the benchmark tuck over there in the back. Wild Turkey 101. Makers 46 cash strength. You've got your big whiff of reserve. Elijah Craig. There's your Bardstown. I wish we got more Woodenville picks. New Riff. Seventeen ninety-two. There's the bare knuckle kale distilling. Now, right now, Virginia ABC has the six year cash strength on sale for just over 35 bucks. Uh, Black in there's the Stellum J Mag again, $89.99. Here's a Heaven's Door Ascension. I've never seen that one before. Or at least I didn't pay attention the last time I came here. <laughs> Is this something new? Heaven's Door Homesick Blues, Minnesota Weeded Bourbon Whiskey. Got me thinking about it. There's the OF100, Michter's. Someone's been here since the last time I've been here because the orphan barrels are gone. There's the High West Cast Collection, $89.99. There's the pin hook eight year again. Elijah Craig, A123. Bootleg series, $799.99. We've got an eight year, 10 month Baker's, 90 bucks. And there's the James E. Pepper, barrel proof, $52.99. There's the Foursquare Barstown collaboration, $190. Got a good barrel back there. Backbone Reservoir. There's the cream of Kentucky, man. I'm just not a big fan of the cream of Kentucky. Bell Mead, 75 bucks. That's a little pricey, but Bell Mead is good, man. Rocktown. Is that a new bottle or old bottle? You guys let me know because the bottle that I have is kind of tall and skinny. 
once again man they always treat me well good people that run this store uh, she never has an issue with me filming whether I buy something or not today I did buy something I know I'm a little late I know it's a new release but it took its time getting here so this is the Jack Bonded I'll probably have a review on this thing somewhere around the first of the year or just after the first of the year so uh, be looking forward to that one we might go to another store I'm not sure yet uh, if not let the whiskey flow never run out unless you headed to a drop Till next time.